wana suffer mentally they commit suicide yeah. at the end of the day unapata mwingine maybe amejidunga drug, drug in a wrong way yenye sasa kwa sasa anataka commit suicide yeah. the pressure imekuwa high hawezi yeah. hawezi fanya hiyo hawezi mm. shikilia that pressure yeah. so unapata at the end the thing that ana opt kwa ni kujitoa kujitoa hiyo hai Hello beautiful people welcome back to another video so today i have a guest with me and he's a really special friend of mine and a friend from college so i want him to introduce himself first before we start so just tell us about yourself and what you're doing right now okay first of all thank you so much um madam luis for this um i'm called milton mm. A nurse, a qualified nurse, licensed nurse, currently working somewhere mm. yeah, in a private facility. So the journey has really been tough, mm -hmm. but we accept for what happens. So just starting off with back from nursing school. Yeah. So like, ulingia KMTC ya jenjuwatongi na semanga like they take over. Five years, yeah. you are in KMTC. Like, but when you know, try two times, three times, I was in KMTC. So, like, where I could like watch you apply. You get once, I'm happy. I will struggle. Like, you can apply several times. You can get KMTC. Okay, Kwanza, Mimi. First of all, I never struggled mm. for the first thing. I think it was by the grace of God that I never struggled. I just applied once. Mm. It came, so I had to apply two times. Once uh, I went to apply for criminology, then the second one I applied for KMTC. Mm -hmm. oh, the thing came that um, the letter for KMTC came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to follow uh, the letter for KMTC and join the college. Mm -hmm. yeah. What pushed me to do this? There are so many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Nini. Okay, in 2017, uh, the start of 2017, because you know you apply January mm -hmm. so that you can be picked on March, March. the March intake. Mm -hmm. So in January there, there was something that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a sad. So uh, I lost my sister in all circumstances. So it was a delay from the nurses and the doctors. So after that, getting that, I had a passion. Why can't I join KMTC or mm -hmm. do a medical course that I can save another life? Life, yeah. Yeah, Cause, because ingekuwa the quick response from the nurses and the doctors, yeah. my sister, I think, could be saved. For sure, yeah. for sure. So that one pushed me mm -hmm. to go and do nursing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, when I go and get cause you want to become a better nurse yeah. because of what you see. But then most people on Avanga because of an experience they went through yeah. and they want to become a better yeah. nurse. Yeah. yeah. So in twenty seventeen in February there. Mm. So I lost my sister. So after that I said when the letter comes from KMTC I go and do that one is was my only option that I could go. Mm. But I had only to apply for criminology. But mm. I saw, no, I cannot go to criminology because there are so many things that they needed. Mm. Yeah, so I just opted to go to nursing mm -hmm. after the letter came. And I said, okay, let me go there and help someone else mm -hmm. whom Anaiza Kwa Nashida Kamayangu yeah. has passed through trauma yeah. like this. Yeah. And like experience, I think you were self-sponsored during that time. Yeah, I went self-sponsored, mm -hmm. but uh, raising raising school fees was a bit tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I thank my my aunt and my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the a family there. It's called my brother's family. Mm -hmm. It's a very great family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a second family. Yeah. So I really thank my family together with the combination of my I call I call her mom. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Sister Josephine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and to be told who assisted me. Yeah. So I really thank God. I During think ilikuanga 120. It was 120,000. Yeah. yeah. So coming second semester it is uh, coming second year it is 118 a reduction of 2000. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think nowadays akuna self sponsor. Akuna self sponsor. March yeah, was me 80k but in yeah. September. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they, we struggled. Yeah. At a time it came we had to do some min- mini arambe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that I can go ahead with my studies. Yeah. So those friends came in, people came in to contribute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I finished my first semester, mm-hmm. second semester, coming second year. The way is open. Mhm. Yeah. And did you ever think of applying for help? Yeah, it came mm-hmm. where by we had nothing to raise cause at a time there was no money mm-hmm. so i opted why can't i go and apply for help for some time i applied for help but it never came mm. yeah for the first time it never came so i said let's continue with this so i said i told ma i told sister joseline who was very close to me i have applied but there is nothing that uh, mm-hmm. shown up mm-hmm. so she told me that no let's pray and also go do open one the way is the way he has helped us mm-hmm. from first year till this is the same same one god will help us yeah. till we finish so i said it's okay yeah mm. that was this. so apart from the raising fee stuff yeah. how was your experience in terms of like studying in KTC because what was among like KTC ni ngumu maso mingi attachments ni mingi so how was yeah. it for true you, attachments part? yeah attachment kweli ni nyingi unapata maybe at a time when you want to struggle when you want to settle at a certain point mm-hmm. mnatolewa yeah. mnapelekwa to a certain place uko mmeka like uh, Two to three weeks hivi bado bado le rent ya jeshi cha rent jeshi kusha tolewa kusha tolewa kwa naivasha sio le kwa naivasha to a new place uko hujatafuta hata nyumba au new places me that was my worst part that hujatafuta yeah. nyumba so umeshapelekwa uko na dere ni yeah. 6 pm na mekwa doctor after nyumba 6 pm ukupata <laughs> yeah. nyumba na ulale yeah. na kuna mtu alikuwa anapiga simu confirm nilipata nyumba mkalala like you to survive all mode yeah So at a time eh, kama inakuja hivyo mm. abrupt that mm. you had to call you have to call back at home unawaambia eh, mm. tume tumeambiwa tu kighafla mm-hmm. but sasa kitu ikitokea maybe unaweza kopa mahali kidogo then okay. we can refund ilikuwa hard <laughs> yeah and i thank them cause walikuwa na nielewa mm-hmm. once apparently maybe ako na trust na wewe mm-hmm. in one two three Yeah. It is easy at atakopa akijua mtapata mahali yeah. then you can refund so i really thank you but they trust me yeah. like trust people should me. really gain trust na parents yeah. because mm. unajua kuna parent atamini umekaa umekaa let's say na nyuki two weeks na the next week mm. unaenda yeah. na ivasha yeah. anaona nikao na mdanganyo ndio kumwibia pesa yeah, so like kupata au parents wana ku trust at nawapigia tu simu nasema tumehama tunaenda kutafuta nyumba nyingine like <laughs> inakuwa ngumu sana mm-hmm. <laughs> inakuwa ngumu hata hivyo unatakiwa kuwa unakuwa trusted na parents so inabidi sawa um accommodate hadi mwezi ishe ndio saa ambie parent wake wanahama sasa kabisa mm-hmm. so at a time also it comes when we are in college okay unapata sometimes mtu anakuambia the studies maybe anakuambia anatomy is very hard mm-hmm. this subject is very hard but you with the determination mm-hmm. and that passion in your conayo it will push you ahead yeah. to do something because mm-hmm. you know very well in the learning letter can you see so i have to struggle mm-hmm. for it so that i can get it yeah mm. but then like i don't know compare pharmacology ni ngumu yeah pharmacology so you made such you know like ni kama tu like high school kuna ngwa sije physics ni ngumu chemistry ni ngumu ushika kwa kile yako you are not going to get it at all out again like you attack your mindset you get a positive mindset to say like kai ilikuwa ngumu kwako maybe itakuwa ngumu kwangu unaona yeah so what came also ina ina motivate tunasema okay kama huyu mtu alipita so why mm-hmm. mimi sasa hata ukiniambia ni ngumu mbona sasa wewe ulipita hapo yeah. to that route mm-hmm. kama ingekuwa ngumu ungebaki mm-hmm. ungewaacha mm-hmm. pia mm-hmm. but uh, also we have also some wenye walibaki wenye walienda 
but sasa unashukuru tu Mungu you had to pass through uh, mm-hmm. the process mm-hmm. nukamaliza and you are going somewhere yeah. Yeah. and then so in terms of maybe classes and exams yeah. in terms of classes you know in KTC it is you must re nini ni kama kuki once you may attend a certain lesson you must there is a signing Because attendance sign. mm-hmm. kuna attendance ile ya kwa ume umefanya nini ume attend ile class mm. so that one ndilikuwa pia inafanya lazima unaingia so hiyo ilikuwa na sign ya but uh, unaweza sign ya beshte yako lakini at the end of the day you are the one who is losing for sure yeah you are mm-hmm. the one who is losing i'm not the one i may sign for you mm-hmm. but sasa ikikuja kwa knowledge nani ame gain knowledge yeah alafu mjua na sing inahitaji mbona sana yeah attentiveness mm-hmm. also mm. cuz i mimi ikisema it's not like uh, nasema because of uh, maybe unasema maybe uko clever muko nini mm-hmm. okay at that time mimi nikiingia class mm-hmm. it's better hiyo yenye mtu amefunza is what i can grasp Mhm. Ni yake. Kuliko yeah. sasa mimi nikuje ni copy notes but sasa maybe hata sitasoma mm-hmm. zile notes. Juhu, Zita kwa hiyo leo explain yeah. like not my ni kwa tu yeah. but the explanation behind it which ile leo. Yeah true. Yeah. Yeah. Ah gini notes unaweza kosa kusoma unajua. Yeah, mm-hmm. hata notes wengine huwa atawasoma. Mm-hmm. Then at the rush hour umepata kama mko na exam mm-hmm. ndio sasa mtu anataka kwenda ku mm-hmm. kusoma. Yeah. But wacha nikwambie in came this when you have that rush hour there is nothing that you can understand for sure. and you will fail terribly for sure for sure utapata receipts nyingi kabisa and you end up na regret mbona yeah. nilijoin KMTC ndio tu ngine nasemanga like au beshta kwa takusaini but hebu jiulize mtu mwenye anataka class kila siku na kusaini na wewe ubaki huko like anakusaidia ni anyway ndio ndani ni beshta yako ni mzuri na nisaini yanga but akusaidi for sure akusaidi a good friend atakwambia acha tuingie class kwa sababu atakuuliza sasa utabaki kwa nyumba ukifanya nini ama unabaki hostel ukifanya nini why can't we go for this lesson yeah. to imalize tuendelee yeah. yeah. alafu pia when it comes to nini going for these shifts like some job kind attachment kwenda shift kama na sisi like kwenda day shift na night shift so ilikuwa aje kwa kwa hizo shifts mimi mm, say pia unapata in all situations nikwambie hata in what you can do we have advantages and disadvantages mm-hmm. and we have uh, also those are achievements that you can make and kuna zile downfalls zenye unakuwa nazo mm-hmm. so ukipelekwa kama in a rural fa, nini facility ama umepelekwa attachment mm-hmm. there are so many things that you may encounter there first of all you are going to meet new people yeah and this one what you have learned in class you are going to be it practically remember ukikuwa huko hakuna mtu mwenyewe kuna wengine wataelewa you are a student you are mm-hmm. learning but wengine watajua maybe you are qualified mm-hmm. you want to do something that is very good so ile courage yenye utakuwa nayo when approaching when approaching patient the clients wakikuja mm-hmm. for certain nini information so you have to gain that confidence mm-hmm. and everything so unapata problems pia zitakuwa niseme there were two one two, three unapata penye umeenda maybe due to hizo unapitia maybe umepata nyumba mbali yeah. and you need to kwenda mahali fulani and i remember when i was it was in maragua mm-hmm. yeah first of all nili 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 encounter certain problem because i had nilikuwa nimenunua nilikuwa nimepewa simu to the microsoft phone that's mm-hmm. unajua vile microsoft ilikuwa mm-hmm. <laughs> inaheshimiwa yeah so i had that microsoft phone so when we were coming back it was around 8 we delayed a little bit it was around 8 so you are going to eat mm-hmm. yeah so you are encountered by people so my phone went like that and some stuff that i had Wow. Yeah. So those are some problems that you may encounter. Also, mm-hmm. you may go to a certain place maybe let's say uh, again that Maragua. Mm-hmm. You find that you have those old shoshos and the grandpas. They talk to you in Kikuyu. Yes. yes. But if you don't have someone to explain to you, you may end up that shosho anakuambia umekataa kumhudumia. You are rude. Yeah, you are rude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Umekataa kumuelezea 
vile nini nafanya ama umekata kumpatia dawa na nasikia uchungu na sasa usikii na usikii yeah so you have to stick to one of your friend maybe and i know you know nini ndio mna translate ndio yeah. translate yeah. yeah but there kuna challenges hata nakumbuka like ukienda place ka rurals mm-hmm. kuna place maybe hakuna maybe stima majini yeah. shida unaona mm-hmm. Like robot kinda si juu ya nyuki kuna place kwa babanga hadi maji kwa kichwa sana <laughs> like uweze kupata maji ya kutumia every day so is like is attachment zinakuja na challenges zao different different yeah hata mm-hmm. labda mvua imenyesha mm-hmm. unataka kufika hospitali a lot of mud hey. mm, ukienda Imagine. ukienda sasa umefika nini hospitali saa zingine yani viatu zote ziko na mali umeja yani ni kama umebeba matope <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> unapata pia okay wanasema nurses wako na attitudes but i say some wako nayo yeah. some nurses wako na and those attitudes you have encountered in mm-hmm. different facilities that you have gone but we thank those nurses when you are welcoming mm-hmm. you are willing to kufunza what is in your nafa kujua yeah and i really thank them i respect them mm-hmm. but those ones who had attitudes but also when you are connected to do nakufunza something mm-hmm. that data pia wewe ukikuwa huko nje don't show other people that that attitude yeah, yeah i was once told that uh, ukikuwa na nini ukikuwa na shida zako from back uh, kwa nyumba mm-hmm. hata maybe maybe nimelala nja so i cannot kukuja niambie nimkuje nionyeshe client mm-hmm. ama other uh, staff ama other my workmate ati nimelala nja yeah. yeah so unaambiwa once umeingia kwa hospitali if it has a gate or iko na mlango so leave those your problems kwa ile mlango yeah come with a smile because the only thing that will welcome a client or a patient kwako na kuamini it's that smile and that trust that mm-hmm. you have yeah. mm-hmm. once you have that patient atakuamini na ta mm-hmm everything that uh, atataka kufanya ataku include for sure hata kama anasikia uchungu ama anasikia nini ataku include for sure yeah in the ni journey yake so that's all so once hata tukiwa huko nje na facility lazima tunacha our problems yeah. kwa mlango so kitoka maybe kama ni jioni ama ni asubuhi we pick those your problems and yeah, go back yeah, to them the yeah. house yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Na sasa kitu kingine ndo tukimalizia ya students ni ku deal na competitive students. Na kumbuka hata kuna time fulani tulikuwa na na wewe male medical ward. Sikio unaweza kumbuka. <coughs> so sisi ndo tulikuwa tumeanza attachment for the first time. Yeah. Then nyinyi mlikuwa ahead of us na Saman, si ndio? Yeah. So mlikuwa mshaenda attachment for a couple of time. Yeah. So nakumbuka there's this one time tulikuwa tunapeana medication. Ilikuwa I think ilikuwa the first day or the first week or something so tulikuwa tunapeana medication and then I, I, i can't remember what i could in to do but there's i asked a fellow student like mwenye tunataka na the same class <laughs> anisaidie akakata and then ulikuja kaniambia ati nisijali like the land to easy vitu sijui kama unaweza kumbuka yeah, that situation can't remember this nakwambia like that moment in you truly encourage you can ambia like i learned this thing from that day onwards me imagine attachment zangu zote nilikuwa na two patient like i always knew that kuja to learn at the local like dealing with competitive students like in a hunger challenge in a hunger challenge challenging yeah you may find uh, kuna kwa na wengine okay unapata wametoka KU unapata wametoka Igato different hizo wenye wanafanya BSN and so many things so unapata this person may be in nini kwa theory huyo person may be ame ame akosa mm. but in practical you are beating this person really ah na kwa nini ukikuja pia um, kwa hospitali in these facilities that you work mm-hmm. you may know part of theory but practical also there's a lot of practical that you need to do sure. in your field mm-hmm. but ukipata wale wenye wako competitive huyo pia alikuwa kama wewe ya yeah, alikuwa kama wewe 
but you just tell yourself okay nitafeed nitafika pale kwa ile kiwango mm-hmm. it's a matter of time mm-hmm. yeah patient and time itakuokolea mm-hmm. mm. and you be eager to learn mm-hmm. yeah from those uyo mwenye maybe ako ahead of you utaenda muulize maybe kama let's say ni a certain drug and administer to a client amekuji mm-hmm. so utamuliza nimeona maybe you are administering this drug kwa hiyo patient how does this drug work mm-hmm. how does this drug interact with the body atakwambia this is the class of drug iko kwa hii same like uh, una administer cause tumezoea unapata maybe diclo utadunga tu mara moja yeah. hydrocortisone utadunga tu hivi mara moja then ukikuja kwa aminophilin unapata mtu anadunga with the time yeah. anaangalia time yeah, yeah. That one una pata so you cannot inject very araka and of mm-hmm. yeah because also it a later some complication to this patient mm-hmm. you want to rectify a certain any problem to this client mm-hmm. maybe you may pata kona zile wizi mm-hmm. sounds eh? mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so you want to rectify that problem but sasa ukimpatia you are worsening the condition of yeah. this patient when you when you give IV first mm-hmm. araka yeah, mm-hmm. araka so Ah uh, it was also me na DPT hapo mm-hmm. but it was just a matter of time una unaenda then unarudi pia to your books yeah uh, jioni pia unarudi na unarudi na ngalia book ya yeah. arudi ya yeah. i remember mimi nikiwa kwa placement sana kwa nini mm-hmm. i usually nilikuwa naenda kama mgonjwa amekuja na dawa ama imetolewa na chukua ile leaf yeah eh, the califlet the califlet yeah. kali mm-hmm. naenda nayo I just analyze na soma ile I know the the, 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 the action of that drug mm-hmm. how the mm-hmm. dosage you can give how you can tamper with the dosage and like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so kienda mahali mtu kiona maybe we are not required also to dispense drugs but sasa okay dispense mtu anasema ai kama ni julia wa pizi vitu mm-hmm. but it is through that that you learn yeah. And that's how it many fanya mm-hmm. hadi tunafika mali. Yeah, by the way unakuwa tu eager to learn yeah. na unakuwa tu patient. Yeah, unakuwa patient. Yeah, kuna challenges like unajua other students like ni binadamu wenzako. So yeah, kila mtu akona character yake, kila mtu ametoka kwao na character yeah, yake bila yeah. mm-hmm. So mpaka pia ujue tu like wish na every kind of personality. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Now when you help and that's why when you are increasing your knowledge for sure hata yeah. wasema <laughs> like the more you are six yeah. na assist mtu ku like kujua kufanya something ama ku like learn a certain concept au ta waisa uju the more I'm teach the more I stick so me yeah. must understand more now to me that it is like nataka akae better than you like yeah. please nurse kwa 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 ya true yeah what do you please nurse nataka na sampende like <laughs> and that one there ndio unajua na ule mm-hmm. pia akishajua hiyo that only hata kama atakupatia what you don't need something yeah. from a person a just simple thank you will help you to go for sure to yeah to be the extra miles yeah. in your life for sure yeah so before to continue on your part yes after college so i'd try to choose a game like ndakuza two three questions yes. about something so ni in itwa like would you rather so the first one is would you rather work night shift or day shift okay i may say all all shifts are good are okay mm-hmm. but uh, when you work in different shifts is when you learn new cases maybe if you don't know how to do any switching mm-hmm. you may learn you may find mostly at night on mostly on fridays you know people party mm-hmm. yeah so when they can when they come na pata wengine amegongana na mashupa nini so unapata those una as a experience but sasa pia i like pia mchana mm. i may like shift ya mchana mm. yeah so like the most the preferable yako ni gani mimi napenda mimi napenda at least ifanye usiku na shift na shift <laughs> So unapata usiku it's better. Unapata ta at that night you may learn so many things. Yeah, especially the practical work. And also unapata maybe kama 
kulikuwa na CEO ama kulikuwa na nani mwenye alikuwa na clerk patient mm-hmm. i go through those files mm-hmm. at night when way. it is calm mm-hmm. so nikienda through those files i may nijue mm-hmm. how to cope ama how to treat maybe i can encounter this disease ama ni encounter a certain person na hizi signs and symptoms mm-hmm. how can i approach yeah. Yeah. and then the second one ni would you rather redo nursing school or redo high school Mhm. See it's uh Eh, hey, that's choose it. one. Any umepo choose one like Rudy Nursing School or Rudy High School. Uh-huh. Umepo choose one and you don't have any other option. You have to choose one. Let's choose again. Going going back. I mean as I say ma naweza enda nursing course eh naweza enda nursing course back in high school ni kama sasa unanirudisha from zero <laughs> <laughs> maybe sasa kitu yenye si kupelewa in nursing mm-hmm. or something that uh, maybe nataka kujua mm-hmm. maybe naweza sema nirudi huko there are so many courses that uh, mm-hmm. can do yeah. so ukiniambia nirudi nursing i may go ni sema maybe nafanya yeah, kitu differently eh, than you different, yeah. Yeah. maybe sasa ni sema kama mimi nilifanya mental sasa ni sema ni nini shida huwa inanilemea saa zingine nikienda kwa maternity mm-hmm. huwa napata some challenge maybe yule mwenye alifanya care station mm-hmm. ananipatia competition kidogo yeah. so sasa niende nirudi nursing kufanya nini can go ni ifanye nini hii ni kwa midway okay na niko point zote pamoja yeah yeah like me cause high school the fact that ni boarding mm-hmm. na ile lifestyle na kuanga huko na kukaziwa like i can't go <laughs> Alafu, would you rather be in a slow and boring shift or a busy shift? I like a busy shift. Really? Yeah, I like a busy shift. Mm-hmm. Cuz uh, a slow and a boring shift. Mhm. Ile takufanya ulale. Si ndo po. Like ulale. Relax tu. Wende no. lunch, wende break. Ongalie no, no, no. for like watu wengine bado wanasema nataka yeye anashinda kwa phone yake, alalala hapo zubai. Shift isha ende home. <laughs> You know ukizoea hata mambo ya simu unaweza mm-hmm. hata unapata saa zingine sasa umepata maybe busy shift maybe same your slow shift uende sasa ume, umebadilishwa maybe umeenda mchana mm-hmm. and that mchana is a busy shift because umezoea simu you want to go back to phone mm-hmm. and that one you are killing this new yeah. patient mm-hmm. so i i rather me na za chagua busy, busy shift i am chagua hiyo busy shift <laughs> So going back so to end up back to like life after college. So how was life after college for 